Look, what you need is God. What you want are all these things that the world sort of dropped into your mind, your heart, your being, so that you may find out that they do not satisfy. It's an experience of childhood that makes you proof against mistakes in adult life. It gives you a foundation, a furnishing, a structure that will hold you through eternity. That you know these are all dead ends. What I value is God. What I value is his astonishing personhood. And all he values must be my treasure too. When you get to that point, then you're an adult. You're ready for heaven. You're actually ready for the highest heaven, which is companionship eternally with God and those who are companions of God, what we're calling the host of heaven. Mature, in a sense as he is mature, in a harmony with him. And that is where your true peace and joy and fulfillment can only be and ever was and ever will be. is our loveliness with him and each other. So while you're here in the world of uncertainty, the material, space, time, change, contrast, good, bad and all the rest of it, tasting of the fruit, of the experience, the knowledge, the knowing of good and evil, that you may ever hold to what is good, ever, as in eternity ever, as in safely ever, as in such that you are, if you like, qualified or furnished with, that which is necessary to experience the fullness of life eternal. So these wants uh, that may transpire, is that the word as an addiction for you? Are there as a blessing that you learn by such? And of course, after a while, you start to realize that hey, I'm not going down another addiction. There's only one way. (laughs) It's going to say it's Jesus. Jesus personifies the one way. It is devotion to our Heavenly Father and all that he loves and cares for. It's as simple as that. That's where your true happiness and joy and fulfillment has ever laid, been, is, and will be. The rest is noise and extremely transitory. And you don't need to bother with it. Once you've gotten on to, once you get that insight into the fact, hang on, I think what I really value is God, even though I can't conceive of him in my mind in the sense that I can't grasp 
remotely the fullness of him, somehow I know in my heart that's what I really sat is really satisfying. The only addiction that is utterly worthwhile. <laughs> Addiction's got a bad connotation, isn't it, because of all the dead end addictions that we've and I mean dead. They kill and destroy, don't they? The most attractive addictions actually all seem to destroy you in the end. They bring to death their dead ends. Except an addiction to loving God and being filled with gratitude to Him and to all life around us that's furnished us with this understanding and experience. We're blessed by this school of uncertainty, change, good and evil, contrasts and experience. We are so incredibly blessed by our score. Oh, and I always want to say, really, it's a home score. It's so individualized because of the um, ingenuity, power, ability, amazing person of our God who teaches us. Never stops working. Never stops caring. Thy loving kindness, Heavenly Father, is sweeter than life to me. Love you. Just thank you for your goodness, Lord. Not just to me, but to everything you love and care for. Everything you make, what could exist but for you and your care. You never stop working. And it's not a work to you, I know. You count it all joy. So do we. Love you, Lord. Love you, love you, love you. Thank you, Heavenly Father.